All right, here are all of the letters and sounds. Um, and hopefully this is helpful for you as a parent to be able to help your child with those letters and sounds. So I'm gonna say the letter first and then the sound. Um, you'll notice that some of the letters and sounds sound different than when I learned them or maybe when you learned them. So hopefully this will be helpful. All right, here we go. A, A, B, B, C, K, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, H, H, I, I, J, J, K, K, L, L, M, M, N, N, O, A, P, P, Q, Q, Q is always followed by a U, R, R, S, S, T, T, U, A, V, V, W, W, X, X, Y, Y, Z, Z. So you'll notice maybe it is a little bit different than what you have heard that the L says L with a tiny U uh at the end, not a big one, just a really little one. And then the R says R with a tiny U uh at the end. And then um, that Q is followed by a U is something I'll teach them as we get into our curriculum, but um, just something extra that you can throw in there if, um, if you think about it while you teach them um, and practice them their letters. Um, for kindergarten, we are wanting them to know all of their letters and sounds pretty soon, just because then it helps them be able to decode and read. So your practice at home is very, very um, helpful in getting them to know those, and then we will start sight words. So thank you so much.